What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, I'm going to be talking about all the new features that are in the iOS 6 Beta 2. Now before we get into the new features in the Beta 2 of iOS 6, I just want to let you know that there is a download link in the description to actually get iOS 6 Beta 2 if you would like to get it and if you are a developer or your UDID is registered, just go ahead and click that link in the description and then it will take you to a site where you can choose what device you have and download the iOS 6 Beta 2 for your specific device. So uh, today I'll actually be reading the log right off of 9to5Mac uh, and I'm going to be telling you guys the new features that are in iOS 6 Beta 2. Here's my iPhone 4S running iOS 6 Beta 2. I'll go ahead and prove it to you by going to General. Uh, I'll go to About. And as you can see there, I have version 6.0 and it is a different uh, identifier build uh, from what we had in Beta 1. Okay? Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So the first new feature that Apple introduced is the option to turn off photo stream. So what you want to do is you want to go to photos and camera and settings and as you can see here you have the option to turn it on or off. I'm going to keep it off just for now but uh, regularly Apple did not add this feature and uh, I guess if you want to turn it on or off you can kind of have privacy with your photos if you want it off or if you have it on uh, you could you know you could share your photos with everyone but that's a, that's a good feature especially if you have photos that you don't want other people seeing that are associated with your iCloud account. Now this isn't too much of a great feature. Apple just went ahead and threw this in. Basically Twitter revamped their uh, icon. So if I go down here and I scroll down the notification center, as you can see the tap to tweet button has changed quite a bit with the new Twitter icon. Uh, also I think if you hit the Twitter icon or actually not in here but through Siri the tweet sheet has changed and I'll get to that in a bit. I'll show you what I mean by that. But the Twitter icon has been updated just a little bit. Okay, so if I go to this photo here and uh, I click the share button, you can see that I have the brand new Twitter icon right here. And just basically, uh, this is going to be in the new Twitter iOS app as soon as Twitter updates it, probably with iOS 6 or in just a later update. That's what the icon will look like. But Apple went ahead and threw in that update as well. And now I want to talk about the Siri tweet sheet. I'll go ahead and show that to you. Send a tweet. What would you like to say? And there you go. I'm actually going to stop here, but there you go. You can actually see that the tweet sheet is a bit different now. It's just a little... tweet. Oh. Ready to send it? <laughs> Uh, I'll go ahead and hit cancel, but as okay, you can see, I won't send it. it's like uh, the the look of the sheet has actually kind of changed uh, just a bit with the blue on the top, and um, nothing really too important, but they haven't integrated this into the other Twitter features like I showed you before uh, in the iOS, but it has changed in Siri, so hopefully in a uh, another beta update in beta 3, Apple will actually change it with all of them. Now this is a small little change. If you go into settings and you go to the cellular data area, the Apple added this new feature. This isn't too much of a big one. Basically here I have the option to turn on or off reading list right here as you can see. Um, nothing too important. Uh, Apple just went ahead and threw that one in. In beta 2 of iOS 6, Apple also finally let us use the or try out the guided access feature. So if I go here to accessibility, if I scroll down, you can see that I see guided access. I can turn it on, set passcode, set it up, whatever I want to do. I'm not going to do that because obviously no one's going to be using my phone except myself. But uh, in the previous iOS 6 beta, uh, guided access just was not ready yet. And um, But that's okay. And now it is, so you could go ahead and try it out if you have a uh, younger you know, son or daughter maybe, or someone uh, you know, minor who uses your Apple device. Uh, this probably would be right for them if you don't want them messing up anything or touching anything that you probably didn't want touched on your device. So uh, it is now available in this uh, beta version. Now the first thing I looked at with the new uh, beta actually of the iOS 6, uh, I went ahead and looked in Passbook and my first hope was uh, that uh, Passbook was going to have some changes. It was finally going to be working, but as you can see when I open it, it still has not changed, although the information has changed a bit. So, uh, Passbook is the simplest way to get all your passes in one place. Boarding passes, tickets, store cards, coupons. You can see a bit more information was added down there. However, the app still is not functional. Uh, but I'm sure uh, bef just before um, iOS 6 is actually released, maybe not in the Gold Master, maybe in a much later beta, hopefully uh, the feature will be out because I definitely want to try it out. And I think Apple wants their users to try it out or their developers 
and beta testers before they actually release it to the public so they could get some beta testing data to see what they have to change before they make the final version. In settings, there are some new services in location services. I'll go ahead and show you that right now. If I go to location services here, okay, and I go down to system services, as you can see, I have some new things right here, and I can also uh, change everything that I want. I could turn this on or off down here. Basically, this is for everything, like, uh, depending on which I'm using, cell network search, compass calibration, diagnostics and usage, genius for apps, location-based dyads, setting time zone, traffic, and Wi-Fi networking. So this is a little bit more in-depth with location services. I can change pretty much now whatever I want, whichever uh, location services I want to come up. Uh, it'll show me uh, when, it, when uh, it has to use my location to get information instead of me not seeing anything at all, which can be pretty useful because some people get picky when Apple's looking at them or not, uh, but that's what probably these settings are uh, good for. I'm not really going to tell you much about this, but with the new uh, Maps app, they have added a new feature. If I go to search, basically I can uh, add it, like, I can now, if I go to search, I can click this button and it will guide me uh, right to home. Just <laughs> ignore all these searches, but uh, if I do um, hit from my current location to my house, obviously I'm at my house, so it's not going to uh, make that much of a difference, but I can actually click that, let's say I'm far away and uh, I need my address and I don't really feel like typing it in or let's say I'm in a new house and I forgot it without entering it in and I need to get home quickly I could just tap that and Siri will guide me through with the new Maps app regularly as it should. Something interesting happened with the uh, Beta 2 in iOS uh, 6. Uh, basically on the iPhone 4 the uh, 3G toggle is back but not on the iPhone 4S. This is a bit interesting because we should be able to do the same on the iPhone 4S. Maybe Apple, the developers, just forgot to throw that feature in. But interestingly enough, the feature is back, but only on the iPhone 4. Hopefully we'll see it for the iPhone 4S soon. Obviously, I can't show you because it's uh, it's not on my phone. Another feature I noticed myself is now when you go into photos, you can actually add new albums. And so from here, if I just tap the little plus button, I can give it a title. So I'll just say video for this one, save. And then I can choose whatever I want to put in uh, this album. I'll just hit done for now. And as you can see, I have my brand new photo album here. And I can also edit and add whatever I want. So I can move it back and forth pretty much. But now you can also add new albums instead from doing it right from your computer. Which actually is pretty useful, especially if you want different things uh, organized and, uh, and so on. Alright guys, that's basically it for this video on the iOS 6 uh, Beta 2, the new features and such. Again, there is a link in the description to go ahead and download if you have iOS 6 Beta 1 and your UDID is registered or you're a developer. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to leave a comment below. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button up top. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.